Good morning, great and class. Good morning, sir. Mabuhay. Very good. Before we start our class discussion for the day, um, let us pray first. Who wants to lead the prayer? Sir. Yes, Miss Roberto. Okay, classmate, let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Thank you, Miss Roberto. Welcome, sir. Ayan, good morning again, class. Good morning, sir. Mabuhay! Very good. And please pick up the pieces of paper beneath your chair and take a proper seat. Okay, sir. Yes. Class, how was your day? It was great, sir. Oh, it's nice to hear that. Is there any absence in this class? There's no absent for today's class, sir. Thank you, Mayor Agapito, right? Yes, sir. Thank you. So, uh, basically, let us proceed to our uh, discussion for today. But, let us have a recall of the topic that we have uh, tackled last week. So, based on our previous discussion last week, uh, what is the meaning of recreational activities? Sir! Yes, Mayor? Sir, active recreational activities are leisure type physical activities that are not part of a scheduled exercise program. Very good! Since you know the uh, meaning or the description of recreational activities, uh, now can you give me some examples of recreational activities? It's either outdoor or indoor recreational activities that we've tackled last week. Sir! Yes, Miss Lagrimas. Swimming! Very good. How about Mr. Agapito? Sir! Yes! Hiking! Very good! How about uh, Miss Roberto? Sir! Yes? Camping! Very good! And since you know the examples of recreational activities, we can proceed to our next topic for today. But before that, with the use of the uh, Jamboard app, we will have a short game entitled The Jamboard Words or Letter Games. Now, I will describe first the uh, uh, definition and the description of Jamboard uh, Words or Letter Game. The Jamboard is a type of puzzle in which uh, letters in a word or a group of letters in a word is in Jamboard. And for the mechanics of the game, uh, Miss Lagrimas, can you please read? Sir, the player must unscramble all of the scramble words in order to locate the letters that are in the response to the supplied clue. The letters that are in the clue will be circled. The contestant then unscrambles the marked letters to reveal the clue's answer. Thank you, Miss Lagrimas. So now, since you know the mechanics and the description of Jumble Words game, let us proceed to the game. Are you ready, class? Yes, sir. Yeah, and since you are all ready, uh, here's the first word. Sir! Yes, Miss Roberto. The answer is basic. Yes, very good. How about this word? Sir! Yes, Mr. Agapito, right? Yes, sir. The answer is not. Very good. How about Miss uh, Maria? Sir! Yes? Sir! Yes, again, Miss Maria, go. The answer is steps. Yes, very good. How about last? Uh, Miss Rivera? Sir! Yes, Miss Rivera. The answer is Zumba. Yes. So, what are the topics for today? Sir! Can you please summarize it? Uh, yes, Miss uh, Rivera, right? Yes, sir. Uh, what is the summarization or what are the topics for today? Sir, 
Our topic for today is all about Sumba dance. Sumba dance? I think, sir, Sumba dance. Uh, how about Miss Lagrima? So, what is the summarization of our game? Uh, jumble letters word game. And what are the topics for today? Or what will be the topic for today? I think, sir, dance. So basically, or to be specific, our topic for today is the basic dance steps of Sumba. Are you ready, guys? Yes, sir. Oh, and it's nice to be that. That was so excellent. And now, before I discuss the Sumba and the different types of Sumba, and especially the basic dance step of Sumba, who among you are familiar with Sumba? Me, sir, me. Uh, yes, me is Roberto, right? Yes, sir. Okay. What is Sumba for you? For me, the Sumba is a dance exercise program in which participants move to fast paced music while dancing. I am right, sir? Yes, very good, Miss Roberto. So now, since you are, have a different insights about the topic for today, uh, we can proceed to our uh, uh, presentation or discussion. Uh, permission to present my screen? Okay, sir. Thank you, Mayor. Sumba. Uh, can you please read the description and the meaning, Miss Ro uh, Roberto, right? Yes, sir. And can you please read? Zumba. Zumba is a fitness program that consists of dancing routines set to Latin American and other good music. Zumba is a dance-based workout that incorporates Latin and international music into, into its routines. To promote cardiovascular fitness, Zumba routines use interval training with rapid and slow rhythms. So, ayan, no? Uh, sinasabi dito sa description ng Zumba na ang Zumba daw ay originated in the routines of the Latin America. And sa kanila nagsimula yung Zumba. Kasi nga, yung mga tugtog nila para bang uh, nakakaingganyo and very good music and akma sa Zumba kung kaya't sila ang nag-originate nun. And aside from that, yung Zumba din ay mahalaga or ma, uh, importante para sa, ate, sa atin dahil sa pamamagitan nito is uh, nalelesen yung uh, sickness or yung illness na ating karaniwang uh, tinatama sa, sa panahon ngayon, lalot ngayon ay uh, panahon ng pandemia. And next is the history of Sumba. Uh, Miss Catalina, can you please read the history? The history of Sumba. Sumba was started in 2001 and has since grown to be the world's largest and most popular dance fitness program. The inventor of this lucky accident, Alberto or Beto Perez. Ayan. So, the Zumba was started in 2001 and has since grown to be the world's largest and most popular dance fitness program. The, in for, the inventor of this lucky accident is the Alberto or the Beto Perez. So, yan no? Uh, it says here that the inventor of the Zumba was uh, Alberto or Beto per Perez. And and it was started in the year of 2001. And hanggang sa uh, lumawak na lang siya at mas nakilala. Kung kaya't alam natin na ang Zumba ngayon is very uh, popular kasi nga Ah, uh, etong Zumba na to dahil sa nag enjoy ka na, nagiging healthy ka pa. Next is the appropriate Zumba clothing before attending the Zumba class. Can you please read Miss Lorbes? Sir, wear workout attire such as shorts, tank tops, sweat trousers, and 100% cotton shirts. Dance shoes or sneakers are recommended. So, your and the appropriate Zumba clothing before attending the Zumba class is wear workout attire such as shorts, 
tank top, sweat trousers, and 100% cotton shirt dance shoes or sneakers are recommended. As you can see in the pictures, they are, they are all uh, wearing some uh, fitted clothes and 100% cotton shirts because uh, by wearing this kind of clothes, uh, we can avoid to some illnesses and such as pulmonia and, and such. Now let's proceed to the different types of Zumba. First type of Zumba is the Zumba Classic. Uh, can you please read the description, the function of Zumba Classic, Ms. Lagrimas? Zumba Classic. The original class style is like a calorie torching dance party set to Latin music and other global rhythms that alternates intervals of high and low intensity so that you feel constantly challenged but never overtaxed. This is mainly a cardio workout but you will get some toning benefits thanks to the hip swinging dance moves which help with core straightening. So you're in uh, the Zumba Classic is the original class style. It's like a calorie torching dance party set to Latin music that alternates intervals of high and low intensity so that you feel constantly challenged but never overtaxed. This is mainly a cardio workout, but you will get some toning benefits thanks to the swimming, if swimming dance moves which help with core straightening so yon it says here that the Zumba classic is the uh, is like an uh, calorie torching dance na kung saan is very uh, challenging tong uh, Zumba classic na ito kasi nga ginagamitan nito ng uh, high intensity of dance and also uh, itong Zumba classic na to para siyang cardio workout na talaga na mga uh, nakakapagod and very uh, beneficial especially sa uh, core natin next is the aqua zumba uh, mr agapito can you please read the aqua zumba aqua zumba aqua zumba is also a great stress busting exercise for people suffering from anxiety and mood disorders the water pressure can improve your heart health by increasing the blood circulation and reducing the resting heart rate aqua zumba is even more effective th than doing zumba on land so yon uh, the aqua zumba is also a great stress busting exercise for all for people suffering from anxiety and mood disorders. The water pressure can improve your heart health by increasing the blood circulation and reducing the resting heart rate. The aqua zumba is even more effective than doing zumba online. So yon from the word aqua, itong aqua zumba is done in the swim in the pool na kung saan ang mga uh, dancers ay nag-execute ng uh, zumba in the uh, uh, water and this aqua zumba is very beneficial since ito ay maari makapag improve ng heart health and uh, blood circulation and aside from that itong aqua zumba is more effective than the zumba on land and the next is the zumba gold or the gold toning can you please read miss uh, roberto Zumba Gold or Gold Toning For older exercisers or those who are still trying to work up to the speed and intensity of a classic Zumba class, Zumba Gold takes all the fun choreography and, sh and slows it down a bit, delivering a great workout that's a little easier to follow. Gold Toning follows that same script but incorporates lightweight lifting for those looking to sweat and tone in equal measure. So, yan. Uh, the Zumba Gold or the Gold Toning is a for older exercisers or those who are still trying to work up to the speed and intensity of a classic Zumba class or the Zumba Gold 
takes all the pun choreography and slow it down a bit delivering a great workout that's a little easier to follow. Gold toning follows that the same script but incorporates lightweight lifting for those looking to sweat and tone in equal measure. So, ang uh, Sumba Gold or the Gold Toning is intertwined by a uh, Sumba class. Kasi nga, yung Sumba class is uh, an high intensity. But etong as uh, uh, Sumba Gold is more on slow uh, um, speed and low intensity lang kasi dito ang mga nag uh, nakikilahok dito ay karaniwan ay ang mga older ex ex exercisers uh, especially sa mga older exerciser and the next one is the Sumba Sentao uh, can you please read uh, Mr. Dimarungan Zumba Sentao sir Sentao ba yan, sir? Yes, Mr. Dimarungan. The word sentao means while seated. So get ready to grab a chair and target your core in this unique class because a lot of moves are done while seated. Zumba sentao can be a great class for beginners who feel intimidated by the high intensity dance moves but is it but it isn't it just for newbies it's also a great class for anyone who wants to focus on their abs but hates doing sit-ups on the floor so yun the sumba sentao is the word the word sentao means while seated so get ready to grab a chair and target your core in this unique class because a lot of moves are done while it's seated. Sumba Sentao can be a great class for beginners who feel intimidated by the high intensity dance moves. But it isn't just for newbies, it's also a great class for anyone who wants to focus on their abs or core but hates doing sit ups on the floor. So, yon, the Sumba Sentao from the word Sentao, it will be seated. Nakusaan, um, it will be done in uh, dancing in a chair na kung saan, uh, na kung saan habang na po sila ay nagsasayaw uh, and this Sumba Sentao is great or, or mas okay ito sa mga beginners na kung saan hindi pa nila nakikita handa yung kanilang sarili para sa mga high intensity uh, dance Sumba and this Sumba Sentao is great for those people who wants to uh, focus on their abs. Next is the benefits of Sumba. These are the 10 benefits of Sumba. Miss Maria, can you please read it? Number one, burn sweet and calories. Number two, it's addicting so you will want to exercise more. Relieves stress. Great for cardio. Tones the body, you'll look even better. Improves your coordination. Enhance mood. Makes you more confident. Boots metabolism. So yeah, this will be the 10 uh, most uh, benefits of the Sumba. Although nakakapagod ng Sumba, pero meron itong maayos na epekto sa atin na talaga namang napakahalaga para sa kalusugan ng bawat isa sa atin. So first is the burn weight and calories. Kasi nga yung Sumba parang sa pamamagitan ng pagkakarin ng uh, cardio steps is parang yung ating calories is parang nalelesen and nabeverin yung ating uh, 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 calories na kung saan para nagiging fit tayo as you can see in the picture very fit na siya and next is it's addicting so you will want to exercise more so yon dito sa Sumba dance very enjoying siya uh, kesa dun sa ibang 
uh, exercise and next is relieve really stress itong zoom balance it can be done in house na kung saan kapag ikaw ay stress pwede mo itong gawin para madestress ka and next is the great for cardio great for card cardio na kung saan pwede ito sa mga merong uh, uh, chubby mga chubby na tao and it will be great for them to have this next is the tones the zumba so you look even better so as you can see in the picture very uh, fit na siya and very sexy na siya by doing this kind of dance which is the zumba dance next is improve your coordination and the enhanced mood na kung saan parang uh, pag ikaw ay uh, very bad mood pero kapag ikaw ay sumayo minsan ng zumba based on experience parang nalelesan yung bad mood ko Next is makes you more confident. And based on my experience, ah, kaya ako na isama to makes you more confident sa benefits ng Zumba. Kasi, ah, while participating uh, Zumba, yung nafe-feel mo na para bang ang lakas-lakas mo, ang confident-confident mo sa sarili mo. At, at dahil doon, parang nabubos yung self-esteem mo na para bang uh, mas nagiging confident ka sa lahat ng ginagawa mo na may apply mo rin sa school mo. Next is the boost metabolism. Etong sumba rin ay nakakapag-boost din ito ng metabolism na kung saan malelesen yung, uh, yung mga sakit sa ating uh, stomach na maaring makatulong din sa ating uh, kalusugan. And next slide is the basic dance step of sumba. Here in the basic dance steps of Sumba, I have a video clip prepared here about the basic dance steps of Sumba. And after you all practice and know the basic dance steps of Sumba, you are going to perform it and enjoy watching. So many times I've heard the objection, I'm very uncoordinated, I can't do Zumba. No, st stop it. I don't want to listen. You might say, I don't like Zumba. Or, I prefer a less cardio workout. But, nobody should avoid doing Zumba just because they don't know the steps. So, today I'm going to explain how to dance some of the most famous Zumba steps. Before we dig into it, let me disclaim a couple of things. Disclaimer number one. This video does not, in any way, substitute the proper Zumba basics training that you can purchase on Zumba.com. It's really two different things. In the Zumba basics training, you learn the Zumba formula, the names of each step, the arm and fitness variations, and you qualify as a Zumba instructor. Here, I just want to give a hand to those who are curious or interested in trying a Zumba class, but they've never danced in their lives and they have no idea of what to do with their body, with their legs and their arms. That's all. Disclaimer number two. There are definitely so many rhythms that you could dance in a Zumba class, but we can't stay here for hours and see each one of them. You wouldn't need it anyway, because once I will tell you what to hear and what to consider in the main rhythms, you will be able to apply the same concepts to any other rhythm. Cool, huh? Let's go. Unless your Zumba instructor is gone crazy and will add to the playlist a waltz a three four time like da 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 one two three one two three one two three all the songs that you will hear in a Zumba class are based on the common time of four four one two three four one two three four now if you have a background in music you're used to counting four beats one, two, three, four. But if you have a background in dancing, you count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Basically, you count two bars instead of one. Although it would make more sense to count eight beats because Zumba is a dance fitness program, I will give you the option to count four beats instead because I reckon that many more people have studied music at school, for example, and hopefully this will make things easier. Remember, this is not a video for expert dancers. It's a video for those who don't know how to dance. For each rhythm I'm going to address, 
One, the beats specific to that rhythm. Two, the main steps of that rhythm. Three, how to balance your weight while you do the steps. Let's start with the easiest rhythm, merengue. It sounds like... The image that I have in mind when I think of merengue is crushing the grapes with the feet. One, beats. In merengue, you just do one, two, one, two, like a march. You alternate right foot and left foot, and that's it. Right, left, right, left. The dance beats are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. In four, one, two, three, four. Super easy. Two steps. You can march. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. You can move forward and backwards. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. You could do a diagonal step. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Or sidewards. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. You could do a V step. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. You could do a square. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Do you see the corners of the square? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Many times you will see this side step. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, that on the last four stops and start with the other foot. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. The only complicated step in merengue is when we go side and then cross. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Let me show you the step slowly. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Three, balance. Balancing your weight in merengue is really easy. Your weight is on one foot, then on the other. Let's see the balance in the hardest step. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. My weight moves from one foot to the other. Let's go with salsa. It sounds like... If you hear Las Claves, it's likely to be salsa. Las Claves is a percussion. Those two sticks that sound like... Salsa reminds me of the sensual movements of the sea waves. One, beats. Every salsa teacher will tell you that the steps are one, two, three, you stop on four, five, six, seven, and stop on eight. So the dance beats are one, two, three, five, six, seven. In four, you can say that the beats are one and two, three and four. You pretend you're going, but then you come back. Pretend you're going and come back. Two steps. You can do a side step. One and two, three and four. The same step applies if you do it frontal. One and two, three and four. One foot goes forward, the other one goes backwards. One and two, three and four. You can have the side one, but instead of having the foot going on the side, it goes at the back. One and two, three and four. Three, balance. Knowing the balance in salsa is crucial because of that pretend but come back. Let's say that you start from the base and then one foot goes somewhere else, front, side or back. The other foot is an anchor that keeps you attached to the base. You transfer a little bit of your weight on the moving foot, but you're immediately going back to the anchor. One and two, 
three and four. Cha-cha-cha. This rhythm is not a basic one, but since it's a kind of mix of both merengue and salsa, I thought it would be nice to mention it. It sounds like... And in my mind, it's the easy-going version of tango. If you're not as technical as a tango dancer, but still want to enjoy a sensual dance, you go with cha-cha-cha. One, beats. In eight beats, you would count one, two, three and four, five, six, seven and eight. In four beats, it's simply one, two, three and four, where the three and four are the characteristic cha-cha-cha. One, two, cha-cha-cha. Same thing. In one, two, you do exactly what you would do in a salsa, so pretend you're going, but come back. In three and four, you alternate the feet like in merengue, cha-cha-cha. One, two, three and four, one, two, three and four. Two, steps. If you move in a direction, you do it during the three and four. And many times in one, two, you go to the opposite direction. So if you want to go forward and backwards, start by pretending you're going backwards, but then come back to the anchor and then walk forwards during the cha-cha-cha. So, one, two, three and four. To go back, do the opposite. Attempt to go further, but no, now we are going back. So, one, two, three and four. If I want to go sidewards with the same kind of step, I have two options. The attempt can either be in the opposite diagonal at the front or at the back. So, let me show you the front version. One, two, three and four. Going back, one, two, three and four. Or using the back diagonal, one, two, three and four. Then go back, one, two, three and four. Three, balance. Use the same anchor of salsa. Just transfer a little bit of weight, but be ready to immediately go back to the base and do your cha-cha-cha. Now let's talk about reggaeton the Latin version of hip-hop. It sounds like... In my mind, it's the groove of a big subwoofer's cone, full of energy, but not cheerful. One, beats. In reggaeton, the accent is not on one, like the other dances, but on end, so the space between the beats. In eight beats, you count it and one, and two, and three, and four, and five, and six, and seven, and eight. In four beats, it's and one, and two, and three, and four. Many times the groove will drag you down, not up. And one, and two, and three, and four. Two steps. Many times you will see the typical side stomp. And one, and two, and three, and four. Then you change the step and go on the other side. And one, and two, and three, and four. But other times you will just find yourself on the base with two options. The first one is step, step, double. So, and one, and two, and three, and four. Let's do it again. And one, and two, and three, and four. The other leg. And one, and two, and three, and four. But you can also take the knee up and one and two and three and four. Let's do two bars and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. You can walk forwards squatting a little bit and one and two and three and four and backwards and one and two and three and four. The most complicated step, in my opinion, is when you bounce sidewards. In this step, you do one knee up, other knee up, and then walk to the side. Let's do it slowly. And one, and two, and three, and four. Go back, and one, and two, and three, and four. Three, balance. In reggaeton, your balance is low, consistent with the attitude of this rhythm. Many times you are either bouncing around or solidly anchored to the floor. Be ready to change your balance very quickly from one foot to the other. 
Finally, we have cumbia, the fourth of the basic Zumba rhythms. It sounds like... The image I have in mind is those traditional Latin American costumes, big, colorful gowns that smoothly move around with the music. One, beats. Cumbia is as easy as merengue. One, two, three, four. What's the difference between the two? Basically, cumbia has one lazy leg that follows the other. Let's see it in the steps. Two steps. When you stay on the base, only one foot does the job. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. The march in merengue is one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. But cumbia is one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. When you do the sidewalk, the foot at the back pushes you to go forward, so the other foot goes. Of course, the hips help you a lot, but I'm not talking about hips and arms on purpose, because the priority are the feet. Once you get the feet, adding arms and hips is easier. Let's see this walk. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Very often you will see a diagonal or opposite step. One, two, three, four. You see the lazy leg? Let's do two measures. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Finally, the machete. Machete. You're cutting sugar canes. One, two, three, four. The only work of the lazy leg is to turn on the toes just a little bit so that you don't hurt your knee. Let's see it. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Three. Balance. Your weight will stay for the most part of it on the lazy leg. Still, cumbia is a joyful dance, so you will bounce a bit and you can give this bounce by giving a bit more energy to the active foot. For example, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Or one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. I wanted to mention samba too, but this video would get incredibly long. Furthermore, samba is a little bit trickier than the other rhythms, even for instructors. Many instructors don't do samba at all. So I reckon that if your instructor is confident enough to add a samba to the playlist, they will be able to explain how to dance it. Let me just add a couple of tips. One, listen to the music. Zumba steps work in synergy with the music. Meaning that the music is not just there to give you a pace, but the steps will correspond to a specific part of the song. The verse, the chorus, the bridge or a special part. Every time there's a chorus, the instructor is definitely going to do the same steps of the previous chorus. There will be variations maybe, but the basic step is the same. So, follow the structure of the song and you will be able to anticipate the steps. 2. Look at the directions. The possible directions are you stay on the bass, you go forward and backwards, on one side and then come back, diagonal or turn. If you are completely lost, figure out where the instructor is going first. Then see which foot they use and where's the balance. 3. Check the toes. This is very important because sometimes your instructor will do the step staying on the toes so that the knees don't get hurt. As Zumba instructors, we are not supposed to explain the steps at the beginning or during the songs. That's why we don't use the microphone in Zumba. Cueing stay on your toes is not the easiest thing to do without misunderstandings, so make sure you check the instructor's feet. Four, you will get used to use your body to add the flavor. The hips, the arms, the bust and shoulders, the groove. Don't rush into doing exactly what the instructor is doing. Make sure you understand the step first. The rest will come with a little bit of practice. On this note, let me add, give it time. Would you expect to be able to speak a foreign language after only one lesson? I don't think so. Same goes with dancing skills. I made another video on how to survive your first Zumba class. Make sure you check it out. 
I hope I was clear enough. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments. Also, let me know if you have any other tricks to do the basic steps. If you like this video. Okay guys, since you know the different basic uh, dance steps in Zumba, uh, may I add some question? First, what are the basic dance steps that the video tackled? Sir! Yes, Miss Roberto. Sir, merengue, salsa, cha-cha-cha, reggaeton, tsaka kum -kum. cumbia? Yes, very good. Yeah. Yes, that's cumbia. Very good. So, since you know the basic dance steps and you have an insight on how to execute it, uh, we, ha we will have a short activity or application of that. Uh, I will demonstrate to you and after demonstrating after I demonstrate the basic dance steps in Zumba you will be the next uh, one to uh, demonstrate and execute it right clear guys yes sir it's clear yes sir yes excellent very good great then magiting ayan no so first basic dance step is merengue a merengue in execution ng ganito para nag para style cha 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 and next one is the what is the next class? salsa salsa okay and for the salsa uh, similar to a merengue but para siyang uh, mas pinaganda or meron siyang uh, minimal movement lang na uh, kaiba kaysa sa merengue. Ganto siya. Mm. Mm. Nakuha ba class? Yes, sir! Very good. Next one is the cha-cha-cha. Very good. The cha-cha-cha is like a salsa. Kasi uh, meron siyang uh, uh, step na kung saan ay uh, parang meron mabilis na count. Like, 1, 2, 3. Like, nang siya. 1, 2, 3. Siya. 1, 2, 3. Siya. Yeah. Pwede rin siya sa side. Siya. 1, 2, 3. Siya. 2, 3. Siya. 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 Okay, nakuha ba guys? Yes, sir! Okay, next naman is the... Reggaeton. Reggaeton. So, yun, yung reggaeton is like a hip-hop kasi more on uh, high-intensity move siya. Like this. Ganito siya. Parang ganito siya. More on control and sustain yung kanyang glow. And ganito siya. Ta, 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 ta. Ganun. Tapos, last uh, uh, basic step is Cumbia Okay, so for the Cumbia naman is more or uh, uh, Para kang nag uh, lalakad na step Kasi pagkat siya yeah. Tapos yung ano yung paan natin is naka ano siya Naka flex Tapos yung nasa likod is naka flex Bali pagkat siya Tap, tap, sa kabila naman Yan lang. Tapos kahit anong variation ng kamay, pwede mong i-apply like this. Pwede pa ganyan. Pwede pa ganyan. Pwede rin pa tap, 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 tap. Ganun. So, kaya uh, execute ulit natin sa sabay-sabay. Merengue. Merengue. Next is uh, salsa. 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 Next is cha 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 Next one is the reggaeton Hip Para siya ngayon Ta Ta Tapos last is the cumbia Ta 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 Pero ba tayo dun guys? Yes sir! 
Ayan. Since you know or since you've uh, uh, said on me the basic dance steps in Zumba. Now, as I've said earlier, after I demonstrate, after I execute it on to you, now we will do the basic dance step in Zumba together. Okay, class? Clear by all? Yes, sir. Okay, let's start then. Let's start in the merengo. And another thing is, kailangan takes 16 count each. So, uh, let's start with merengue. Okay, that's with me. So, 5, 6, 7, and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. So, after the merengue, what's next? Miss Roberto, sige, go. Um, sir, salsa po. Okay, salsa. Let's do the salsa together. Five, six, seven, and on one. Three, four, five, and six, and seven, eight. Okay. So after the salsa, we're going to do the... Cha-cha-cha. Cha-cha-cha. Very good. Five, six, seven, and on one. Cha 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 two, cha 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 three, cha 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 four, cha 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 five, cha 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 six, cha 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 seven, cha 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 eight. Okay, very good. Uh, very excellent naman si Mr. Roberto. Talaga namang galak na galak at uh, ginagalingan niya. And the next uh, basic step is reggaeton. Very good. So we're going to do the uh, reggaeton together. Five, six, seven, one, two, five, six, seven. High intensity. Two, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. Uh, so after the reggaeton, what is the last? Cumbia. Okay, cumbia. Let's do the cumbia. Five, six, seven, and one, two, four, five, six, seven, and a two, two, three. Five, six, seven, and three, two, four, five, six, seven, and four, three, two, five, six, seven, eight. You are in. Uh, since you know the uh, different basic dance steps in Zumba, uh, that was very fantastic and great to me that you can execute the different basic dance steps of Zumba. Since you can execute and demonstrate the different basic dance steps of Zumba, now we will have a short, a short assessment for you guys. And this assessment was entitled 3 minutes pre-recorded video about the basic dance steps of Zumba. And after you've uh, uh, video it with your family, just upload it on Facebook. And the criteria are creativity and originality. 20%, mastery 30%, and proper execution 50% with a total of 100%. And aside from that, I've also prepared uh, an uh, assi assignment for you guys. And this assi assignment was entitled uh, Article Review about the significance or importance of Zumba nowadays. Am I clear, class? Yes, sir! Excellent. So we're on clear on our, our agendas, uh, activities, assignment applications, and our topic. And see you next Friday, right? Yes, sir. See you next Friday. Um, goodbye, class. Goodbye, sir. Mabuhay. I hope you enjoyed and learned for today, class. Bye. Bye. God bless you all. Bye.